Tonse, Tonse people, my name is Sin K, and call me Sin for short, and welcome to a game that we're going to check out today called Lamp Post. I don't know anything about it, I just read a description, and all I know is that it is has to do with SCP, I believe it's called. I've, I'm going to check that out, I don't know when, but I'll check it out definitely. I've never, I've never played an SCP game, I have heard of it. All I know is that it has to do with monsters and mythical beings and stuff like that. And that's all my knowledge. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying it and I'll try out everything else. Okay. Just give me some time and I'll stop taking up a lot of it. We're just going to jump into it. A van. Recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost, SCP XXX, is currently under supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. I'm a little scared. Oh. Dr. Hayden. Our intel suggests that this is a Keter class. What? A T Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. SCP XX doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. You can clearly see that they are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in this area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain those objects. What? Here, this is analog. This is analog millimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by lampposts and collect them. I'll be checking for other anomalies as well. Dr. Cooper will observe us just in case if anything happens. And Dr. Thorne will provide us with medical help if we need any. But at least five samples. That's that's, that's a lot. Report to Dr. Cooper and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant. Avoid interaction with the lamppost and good luck. Oh. Whoa. This is fast. Okay, there we go. Dr. Cooper. Okay, well, I got to find samples, right? What do these samples look like? Is this a sample? No. How do I know I found the right thing? I'm so confused. Whoa, there's a shovel here. Somebody die here? Is that blood or is that wine? I'm kind of scared, but then again. Oh, that's one. Okay, so I just got to walk up the different objects. All right. Okay, that's two. Well, that ain't so bad. It ain't so scary. Look at that lamp. Dusting lamp. Ooh, bags of trash. Look at that. Will we find raccoons? Oh. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What is that? Oh. Anything in here? No, it just flies. Ugh. Disgusting. That's a big mushroom. Uh, we collected three or four, right? I lost count already. What about this? Aha! I think that was four. Regular looking lamppost, right? Except it is it gl it's glows more intensely. What? I didn't get to read that. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Damn. Is that one? No. We already looked at that. We looked at that. What about this book? Mr. Book? No. Gas? No. I think we've looked everywhere, potentially, just not the lamppost. I don't want to touch the lamppost. The lamppost seems a little scary. I don't want to touch the lamppost. Uh, what does Dr. Thorne say? Oh. I can't find them. They're pretty difficult to find. The fuck? I swear I've looked everywhere. 
Maybe I'm just dumb. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Okay, who do I give it to? Dr. Cooper? Impressive work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention, this area is very dangerous for us as well. Okay. Although, do you not wonder where those objects are coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? No one is allowed in the area. Who the fuck is that? You see, it could be maybe... If Who the fuck is that? You're not allowed to... Oh, no! What the fuck is happening? Oh, my God! Oh, uh, where are we? Find a way out. Oh, no. What is this? We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim in front of your eyes. My theory is that the vortex of photons created a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else, a dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there's a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost and the objects or a person disappear. Oh, no. Duh. That's not good sign. Who the fuck? <sighs> That fucking scared me. Oh, oh, he's going to kill me, isn't he? Run, run. What do we do? We got to find a way out. What do I do? I'm in a maze. Ah, oh, it's you. Oh, we're going to die here. We're going to fucking die here. Where am I? Ooh, I don't like this. Don't like this at all. Sometimes the lamppost can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time and return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned. But one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name. It suffocates your flesh and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there's nothing left of you. Kinky. Very kinky. We grab that. Oh. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I hate you so much. Okay, be brave. Brave. Uh, oh, oh, that fucking scared me. Shit. <laughs> Let me get some composure. Uh, oh, no. It's fucking. Don't be a pussy. Don't be a pussy. Okay, good. To observing this, it'll look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, we'll, it will vanish. But once more, we call it the Photon Shadow, which was created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, you gotta stop doing that. This is getting old. Fuck you! Ah! <sighs> Dr. Cooper? Who's that? Dr. Hayden. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Run. We're gonna run. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, man. I thought that was somebody walking around. It's somebody just banging their head, man. Oh, I hate this. How do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? How do we get out of here? Do we go to the lamp? Come here, Mr. Lamp! Oh no 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 We made it back. Oh what do I do? Game by Nevin Heatinger. Oh well that's how it ends, folks. Again, <laughs> thank you for watching. Sorry for my screaming and sorry if the mic blows out. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for uh, another video. Bye bye. Smell you later. Make sure the lampposts don't touch you tonight. Make sure you check your fucking water. Bye bye. Bye bye.